G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Joe Woodle, and welcome back to Australia. Welcome back to 7 Days in Outback Roadies, the Australian overhaul mod that turns the zombie apocalypse into my backyard. Where I'm going to be honest, I'm having an absolute rip snorter of a time. It's gorgeous, it's fun, the animals are deadly. What more could you want? I'm going to be super brave though, and despite the hordes of aggressive animals that are out there, it's... <laughs> and as if on cue, there's a spider outside my door, but it's fine. It's fine. I've got a lifetime of experience dealing with these things. What's another couple of hours? But before I crack on, overnight, I have been doing some things. I made myself a bear rug. I made myself some clothing pockets because I forgot about it last time. This time, I won't make the same mistake. You can go into there and then you can go into there. But what I've also done, this bear rug is for this. Now, did I spend a lot of my time figuring out how to mod this game purely to enable me to make myself a little house for my dog? I absolutely bloody did. Not only that, I've got myself a bear rug so he can dig his little pauses into the fur and have a wonderful time. Which way I want to put you, actually? I want to put you, like, I reckon, like, that way. That looks pretty bloody lovely. It's like a hearth. It's like a nice little plush little hearth where the doggo can curl like in fact, you. Sally, come here. Come here. Follow me. Come over here, please. Don't, don't mind the bacon. Oh, my game just had a massive chug. All right, you talk to Sally. Stay right here. That's his spot. That's his spot. That's his spot. Curl up in front of the fire. Oh, Sal. Sal, look at that. A perfect little spot for you. Pat, pat, pat. Just upgraded the frames that made the chimney. Everything's going to look like it makes sense. So the chimney for the fireplace. I have to paint that to look like it's metal. Uh, I might need to move some things around, but I don't, actually, no. It's, this is just a temporary base. Despite Sally having a nice little spot for it, I'm planning on moving out of here before too long, which is why I'm smelting everything out of my forge as well, actually. You can all come with me. I'll put you away. All right, come on, Josh. The sun's up. you got to get cracking on. I did have... Oh, he's gone now. There was a platypus that was there that uh, showed up in the middle of the night and got blasted away by a baker, but I guess he just kind of disappeared into the ether. All right. Oh, you know what we need? In fact, you know what this place needs? This place needs a coffees and frothies balcony. It's, it's real to have one at the moment. This will have to do. It's kind of like a sunroom rather than a balcony, but face the sun, take off your pants, and get it into you. Trying to just pick your way through all of the fences and things in a gigantic jeep is way more difficult than I want it to be. This is why I normally roll the motorcycle because just moving throughout the world is so much easier. So this is the place. This is the place. The Philippe residence. There's lots of things down there for me. Is there anything else? Ooh. There's a cheeky garage out the back though with the plum trees and gum trees. G'day, Cobber. Just... <laughs> Gonna put you up over the concrete bags. I'll take them too as well as your bloody life. Off to a good start. Off to an even better start. Thank you. Is it me or, or like schematics way more common? Ooh, no, nah, I've got a better one. Thank you. Are uh, schematics way more common in this mod than they are in vanilla? I feel like I'm finding both skill magazines, regular books, and schematics so much more often than I ever really do. That was a cheeky little greedy run right into the garage before I reset the pier white. Not going to do it. It's a nice big tree. Immediately again. Suddenly there was a bunch more foliage and I wasn't quite prepared for it. Hey, buddy. I feel like I feel like we had this tango a second ago. Hang on. I'll do the same thing to you again. Go around this side. Try and get you up onto the concrete, please. It's where it's where you were in a past life. So you can go there again. Not quite. Not quite, but close. Got a free anvil out of that working stiffs box, which is pretty good given that I wanted one the other day but couldn't afford it at the tradie after I spent all of my pocket money on confectionery and chalky milks, and that's really about it. Oh, get them all in a nice little group, please. Make sure all my guns are loaded. Yeah, we're looking pretty tasty. Bonk. Bonk. I really wish. I really wish. I mean, you can kick it around a little bit, but you can't do much more. But you should be able to just, like, pick it up and throw it. Maybe I'm going to pick up, like, a head and throw it at the zombies. Wouldn't scare them off, but it'd make me feel better. Feel like there's a few more. Oh, that's nice and glowy. That's what Sally needs in her fire. At the moment, it's just, like, the shell and, like, a couple of embers in it, but not really much at all. There's no warmth coming out of there. That's why she needs a bear rug. <laughs> this whole mod now is just... 
the Sally Simulator. Just how can I provide for my wonderful little pup at home? The rest of the apocalypse keeping me alive and fed and unzombified, secondary. If Sally's happy, I'm winning the game. I forgot to mention, uh, there is something going on with the lights in my background at the moment. I tried to turn them on today. They flickered, then went out, and uh, rather scarily, those are lights that I wired up myself, so I don't trust me as far as I can throw me. I've got the upper body strength of... Well, that guy, he looks pretty weedy. So uh, I just disconnected them all. I'll have to try and figure out how to fix them up another day. So yeah, the lights are gone at the moment, but it's like it's like our old office. Now we've got like the red on this side, the purple on that side. It's all nice and good. I kind of like it. A bit more dark and a bit more like gloomy. It's just a bit more, you know, understated. I probably shouldn't be gas bagging on about things in my office, but there are things I should be focusing on more, like actually doing the, the raid and paying attention to the zombies, because I pay a lot of attention to me. I'll take you for the springs. I love that you're two shot in beds. It makes me very happy. Cheeky bookshelf with absolutely nothing. Nothing really in the cupboard either. Mm, not feeling good about this one. Another scrape, I've already got you, and a repair tool book. The only one that I really needed, what was what I was looking for? I was looking for harvesting tools. If I got a harvesting tool book, oh, I should make some comfy chairs to go with my little uh, my little doghouse back home. If I get a harvesting book, I can make a tier four iron set of tools. And that will just be that much better. I reckon this might be the loot room in here, so hold on, Nance. Hold on. So I come with a name for you. People will say I should call him Morty because he's got like the yellow shirt from Rick and Morty, but he doesn't look like a Morty. And also, I've already named Loza after a TV character. I can't do the same with him. But it's just like nothing springs to mind. If you've got to name a zombie, it's got to be something you can scream as they're beating down on you. So like, it got to like, come, has to come to mind quickly and be like an instant reaction. And you're just like... You just, you just vanilla. I might, I might call you Emmett, maybe, because you're just so bland. You could be anyone. There's all the loot. Is there anyone up here? I closed that directly on my noggin. Why can't I? There's something. There we go. I was gonna say something like blocking off that hatch. This is very, very, very small in here. I don't really like this at all. I get in and out as quick as I can. I was really hoping that little vent was a way out the. Out the roof, a T4 pipey. How you bloody doing hot stuff? Grab you, chuck that into there for some free space. You're not going to be as good as my T2 AK. That AK is going to last me for a little while, but we're, we're getting better and better stuff. Better stuff means better loot, and better loot means a happier me. Pop open both of you. Quickly check the working stiffs for the wrong kind of book and the wrong kind of book. Dang. The job is done, so let's not hang about and get back to see Trady. <laughs> let's not hang about to fuck any spiders, because if I start advertising that, there's a... Uh, well, there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of things out here to raise a lot of legs to volunteer. Double tap you, in we go. I'm still dreaming of that... I was going to say a mod, but that ability to honk the horn and open the doors of Trady so you can drive straight in. Dreaming of that being a reality. Trady Joel. I owe you one. Tier 2 Iron Pickaxe, I'm going to make a better one. In fact, I could gamble on the uh, getting the magazine I need out of that bundle. But a Tier 3 Wooden Bow... What's today today? What day is today? It's day 4. You restocked yesterday, so you're probably going to have one I need. I think it'd be silly to turn out a Tier 3 Wooden Bow this early on in the piece. I will take that one. What other jobs do you have? You've got a Fetch and Clear down in Brisbane. You've got another Tier 2 Fetch in town. Yeah, right. I'll yeah, take that one there, champion. The Byington? Binning? Byington? No, B Byington. Surely. The Byington residence. Take that. God Thank you. Me. I just wanted to check and yeah, nah, he definitely doesn't. He definitely doesn't have any harvesting tool schematics, so thank you. I will check, though, your vendor, as always, for sugar butts. Bloody beautiful. I'll take your rockbusters as well. I'm pretty good on lockpicks. Now that I've called attention to it, I'm sure I'm going to regret not taking it, but I think I'll be fine without the lock, uh, the lock breaker candy. You, that one. All right, let's go do the next job. It's already, it's already 9 a.m. 9 a.m. We've done a job. We're looking good. I don't want to run anybody over. Can I get on the handbrake? Uh, lock the back wheels. Lock the picket fence. Seriously, this thing handles like a bathtub. Just pull her up right out the front. Gorgeous. Are you ready for? Ah, g'day, Loz. <laughs> Oh. 
Oh, I was, I was really concerned what that was for a second there, but it's only a spider, and it's only, it's only like man size. That's not too bad. It's got opportunity to test out my new bow. I think that was well over the top. Oh, I got his attention though. Look at the eight beady little eyes coming for me. Look at his happy little stomps. Boop. Yeah, gotcha that time. There's definitely like a couple moments here where the gamer has to think about what's happening. Yeah, hang on. Ooh, look at look at the fangs on ya. I feel like I'm in Red Riding Hood, but it's Red Spider Hood. Yeah, you've 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 lost the sense. Spiders aren't famous for their sense of smell, so that makes sense. Oh, uh, yep, but they are being fa they're pretty famous for being bulletproof, apparently. AK, 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 don't, oh my goodness. Uh, all right, sure, we're going full out back. We're riding spiders. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I've got no ammo in you, little ammo in you. Uh, get on top of the fence. Oh, no, not now. Not now, Pidgey. I'm fighting other things. I don't have time for you right this very moment. Hold on. Damn it, miss it again. Let's just backtrack it. Get away from the Jeep. Get away from the Jeep. I thought you were going to be way squishier than you were. That's hit. That's hit my own car a couple of times. That'll do. All right. You know what? You know what? We rode you a bit. Now we're going to teabag you a bit. Next time, I'll strap you up a saddle. All that ruckus has called in someone straight from Bondi Beach. You haven't got the the budgie smugs on as well, there, champion. Although you did forget to slip, stop, slap, so you're a little bit sizzly. Can't be doing that in Australia, mate. That's a great way to lose all of your skin. Could we search your mailbox? Where I was gone the first time. Ten percent more damage with shotties. <laughs> that will absolutely come in handy. Give one up against. Check you two with a a vehicle book. Oh, I see you, Skippy. Ah, uh. yeah, good hit. Good hit, give us some lead. Good hit again. All right, let him come straight to you. Problem with the shotgun, he's gonna wait till I get nice and close and I'd rather not do that with something with big talons like you. Sat you down. We're getting better. We're getting much better. I did just notice though, all those run-ins, all that that little dance, that little rodeo. Ooh, tell us what damage at night, thank you. With the spider. I've got significantly less 7.62 ammo, uh, ammo than I would like. That is a reasonable cause for concern. Open up. G'day, g'day. How's it going? Yeah, there's one. Sats and you in the corner. Ooh, the reach on the club's actually pretty bloody good. Another one here. Put you down as well. Dude, we're making, we're making absolute obscene time. We almost cleared out the entire bottom floor. We have cleared the entire bottom floor in the blink of all four of my eyes. I'm going to try and continue that same energy that I had and try and push through here as quick as I can. Open up one door to let Loza out. Oh, that's, the decaps are so good. How did we ever play this game before there was decaps? So, like, dismemberments and things. How do we ever have fun with this without being able to rock all the zombies' worlds and get the nice little flabby bitch jiggling all about like they're doing the weird bodily part hokey pokey. I'll take you. I'll also take all of you. I've got four skill points to spend. Get the levels up very quickly as well. I have to quickly chuck them on somewhere. Where? Who wants them? Who wants them? I reckon a point. A point to, another point to DA? I can probably make it. Let's go you, you, and then you. Don't think, just spend. That's my normal approach to things. And another level into Grease Monkey. I mean, look, the Jeep's really cool, but I kind of really want a motorcycle. I think going further into strength, though, is probably the right call. Yeah, I'll put that point into big and fast. I'm only one of those things, and I promise you it's not the former. Just being able to swing my little plank around a little bit faster should serve me well. I can now make steak and spuds. Bloody bonza, mates. It's, it's, it's no bunning snag. It's no... Ooh, I needed that acid, didn't I? It's no bunning snag. It's no Vegemite toast, but I'm pushing towards that at some point soon. But how do I make the Vegemite toast again? Toast, zombie mite on toast, beam, wheat flour, a oh, witchy grub with some rotten flesh. That's, I feel like I'm, I'm mildly insulted by implying that it tastes like rotten meat. How do I make wheat flour? With wild wheat, and I, 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 no, okay, I have to go find wild wheat somewhere. 
That's gonna be a lot of work for some Vegemite toast, but I tell you what, it's delicious, it's a luxury, it's worth it. That's absolutely gonna need to be a thing. I mean, we already have the tradition of, you know, coffees and frothies on the balcony with your pants off. But I think for this mod especially, some Vegemite toast, a cup of coffee with your pants off, of course, on a balcony every morning. Sounds like the dream. Sounds like the absolute dream. Oh, with little Waggy Sally with me as well, with her little doghouse. Everyone happy? Oh, everyone wagging, everyone having a good time. It'd be absolutely rude for me not to do that. That is now the dream. That is now the dream, and it's what I'm aiming for. The supplies are just through that wall, and there's no like little panel or anything for me to get through. Barb wire mod. So that's gonna give me bleeding damage. 20% chance to cause bleeding, 40 with power attacks. I can't install you on top of the chain. I really wish that I could, especially with like the club specific ones. I mean, you're just wrapping it around. Why can't I install multiples of them? I guess for gameplay balancing reasons to try and pretend like uh, sledgehammers are anywhere near as good. Oh, sod it, I'm just gonna go through here. Anywhere near as good as what the clubs are. I just put everything on there. Put the spikes on, put the, put the chain on, put the wrap on, whatever you wanna do, just make it go. Grab you, that's the job. Let's finish this joint off and get some loot. Nice and easy, see look at that. You be brave and you get rewards and my reward is gonna be a harvesting toolbox. Damn it, it was not, but a weapon maintenance mod schematic. So I already found one where I got one through, I think it was through a quest reward, wasn't it? I chucked it into my shotgun and now I can make my own. Very interesting. I'll take you and you. I can make a stone sledge. Thanks, but nah. Weapon maintenance mod. You're not too expensive either. You're not very expensive at all. And it's a 50% reduction in wear and tear. That is outrageously good. I'm making a lot of those when I get back home. There's some 7.62 ammo. Thank you. I need that. Some anti-rad. And some crossbow bolts. I'm going to put the anti-rad immediately into you. Thank you. That can get repaired and sold. All right. Job done. I'm happy. Trader's going to be happy. Let's go get our pats. Come on, hot stuff. Oh, like. nice rug. Nice rug, mate. My dog has the same one. Um, this time, I do need you to come to the party, though. What the diddly squad are you? I was going to say, and give me the harvesting uh, tools uh, book, but Spartan Sledge Stamina Mod Schematic. That's a lot of words and a lot of S's as well. Thank God Mike Tyson isn't reading this. Uh, read this, Michael Teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It decreases stamina use of sledge weapons by 15%. But I'm not rolling sledgies. But I kind of really want you. Okay, hang on a second. Hang on a second. also want to check uh, axes. I right, fire axe and make a level 3. I'm about to make level 4, so that's okay. I don't need to take that one off you. Is there like special Australia edition sledgies or... No, not really. I'm, I like using the can bat because it's new and exciting and different. I want to try and do all the things that are new in this mod. That's so interesting. That's that's such a good mod. That's such a bloody good mod. 15%? That's better. That's better than this is. That's better than the ergo grip. It's better than the ergo grip. Outrageous. That makes the sledges really good. Now I really do wish you could like wrap everything around the club at once. Now the uh, the clubs need an upper hand. Well, listen, for the moment, I'm gonna take the skill magazines because I definitely need that more than I need a mod I'm not gonna use. Open you, you didn't give me the harvesting tools. You did give me bat crafting though. And forge ahead, handguns, cooking and shotguns. I can make my own bellows now. I've already got the anvil, so that's bloody wicked. Pipe pistol quality two. How far away are we gonna be? Shotgun from Pump Shotty. We're a long way away from that, but I can make a T2 dubsy. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. That's bad at all, though. Everything you've got for me now is fucking miles away. <sighs> Joel. Look, I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. Well, listen, if it's going to be like that, it's, it's only 20 past two in the afternoon. So I'm doing pretty bloody well on time. You just take everything you can carry for the moment and quickly whiz bang it upstairs. Hello? Well, you, you don't need pats. I'll give you pats anyway, Brody. Pat, pat, pat. Good to see you. G'day, Sal. Pat, pat, pat. Look at you. 
Having the nice and warm by the fire, living the best puppy doggy life. And actually, come to think of it, Broats, you're not a dog, and you have a gun, and I like the dog more than you. So you're going to have to come with me, because if you get murdered by zombies, well, first of all, you can defend yourself, but second of all, I mean, look, that one, I burned the game down. You get eaten, ah, I'll find a new baker. There's lots of bakers where you came from. Well, I've got the time and I've got the broads. Oh, that's a koala. Please don't run over that one. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Blinky Bill. Oh, oh no, no, no. Yep, there you go. See, that's what I like to see. I, I don't really mind so much. If this if this was Sally right now, I'd be losing my shit, but it's fine. It's only Brody. Yes, I'm playing favourites, but that's just how it do be sometimes. La, no, oi, oi. Oh, you, you got the pigeon. All right, I thought I thought you were adding insult to injury. I was like, listen, I know he's aggressive, but he's still a national icon, so slow your weird bready roll. I'll take that as well. Get all the bones out of you. Nothing. Oh, yep, not playing on the swing. Except we're fine. So we're going to find somewhere to raid that's going to hopefully have some more books. I'm still looking for the harvesting book. I'm not giving up hope. I can see a doghouse. Sally's is much nicer, but it means there's probably a zombie dog around here somewhere. Do you want, listen, I'm gonna go play in the cubby. If you wanna like go and find that dog for me and make sure I'm last nice protected, I'd super appreciate that, Brody. Not that I've, uh, not that I've done anything for you to make you do any favors for me, but you should just, just do it anyway. You know, I paid you thousands and thousands of dollars, therefore at least sometimes you have to listen to me. Those are the rules. I'll grab you. Always getting springs. I'm getting much better about actually playing the game, not leaving valuable resources behind. Turns out, after thousands of hours and thousands of episodes, <laughs> I'm finally listening to the comments. So look at this one. Look at the glow that this has. This is what Sally needs. I mean, I've basically built the same thing. I've got the same kind of pipes at the top too, but that's all nice and glowy. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to get the glowy one. I just have the one that doesn't have any life in it, apparently. I can't just whip out the old um, flint and steel and make it all sizzly again. Where's... Where's... Oh. No? Where's where's the next bit? Where do I... Ah. <laughs> I see. Oh. I've got parkour. So up we go. Cheeky passing gas book. How you bloody doing? Is that the whole POI? I mean, it doesn't actually have a skull rating, so I think it's just like a remnant. So close. So close. It's a salvaging book, not a harvesting book. I just want it. What do you reckon, Broads? What do you reckon? It's a pretty nice looking house, don't you think? I reckon that's got a good chance of having at least one or two bookshelves. I mean, there may not be any actual readable books in there. I feel like they've been poser bookshelves rather than used ones, but that's okay. That's okay. No judgment from me. If it's got literature, that's what I'm after. Oh, I've already been here, though. Oh, it's this place. No, never mind. I've already been here. We've already raided. There's been no more books. Oh, I'm running out of places to go. Townsville's empty. This might actually be the last town, the last house rather, in town. There's not really much more for me to go to. Anything good in the ambo though? No, nope, just some paper. I did find a cheeky queen bee, so I can make myself a little beehive, I think. That's what you're for, right? Use the queen bee to write, uh, rock a beehive to populate it and produce honey. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. We're going to get our own little apiary going. I'd love to have bees. Can I have bees in real life as well? Che cheeky little stingless native bees. Going to help the pollinators. Always help your pollinators. Just looking for books. Oh, my goodness. Bud, I, <laughs> I had him covered. I popped him up and you clapped him down. But I love the teamwork. Although now you're just going to hang out in there and, I don't know, watch the show. That's fine. I'll, I'll take care of Lisa myself then. That door's locked. Oh, I wish this door was locked. This is pretty grim. Nance, gone. Not in the bathroom. Not in the cupboard. And still no books. I wonder, actually. I broke. <laughs> I, I said your name and you ran away. You know what I'm about to ask you, don't you? Broads, come here, please. Command. So you have different... Patrol, patrol around here. Okay, you have different options than what uh than what sally has why don't we pick you up from me inventory because sally had the like loot around here options i was going to tell you to start wandering about and grabbing whatever you can find but you don't have that option are you hiding something i don't think you're gonna be no oh, oh i always punched you in the face bro sorry well that's interesting so 
Is there different kinds of NPCs then? Maybe I need to like go and find like an empty POI or something and just send Sally around looting to her heart's content. Somewhere where I know it's safe and there's no more zombies anymore. Because otherwise I'll never take my eyes off her. Finally found some books. Please, please. You can't really be mad about that, can you? You can't really be mad about two vehicle books. I'm a long way away from getting the motorcycle. There's still the mini bike to go get, Josh. Don't get ahead of yourself. You're gone. Take the pot of plants. <sighs> Dang. My, my dreams are not going to come to fruition. This is always the way. I've got one more. One more bloody book to get before I can make myself the thing I want to. And I just can't bloody find it. I don't know what this place is, but I haven't gone through it yet. At least I don't recognize it at all. I'll take you. Thank you. I'll search your backpack as well. Bros, you scared the dickens out of me by creeping up at me while I was going through someone's bag. If you keep doing that, I'll get bloody um, Elastigirl to come punch you in the chin and someone else will forget his engagement. Anyway, <laughs> aside from uh, thinking about cartoons, I still can't find this bloody book. Club, no. What are you, though? Oh, it's like a drive through bottle -o. All right, oi, can I get a, can I get a slab of middies and also maybe a couple of cruises for a big Friday night? Never bloody know. Let's see, we may not have drive through banks, but we do have drive through bottle loads. Just going through everything and anything now to try and find something that's going to have some, well, any literature in it. Break down you for the polymers. What do you reckon? What do you reckon, Broads? Good chance, no chance, any chance at all. That door's locked. Book shelves are all empty. Want to open it, Arlene? Thank you. Still, still makes me smile every time. In fact, you know what? You know what? It had to happen. It's been a little while. We're bringing it back. We're going to get our chips nice and salsery. Dip them straight in like we're eating nachos. Delicious. Oh, well, not quite. There's nowhere really left to go. I've already been through the poopy pants. I've been... I've been through Jerry's Phil. I've been through the Cracker Book. Dude, I've been everywhere, man. I haven't been through this little like, construction site here, though, but I doubt I'll find what I'm looking for. At the very least, I can get a vehicle book. I can also get a cheeky... Oh, get some concrete and a Forge Ahead book. Yeah, may as well. May as well, because we're rapidly approaching a time where I'm going to be leaving Townsville forever and going somewhere new with, hopefully, much more loot. My food and water just gets obliterated like, so quickly every day. Do I have any skill points to spend? I should. I do. I'm trying to get in this habit of leaving a skill point until something obvious comes up that I want to spend my skill point on. So, Iron Gut, wherever you are, you could just search for it there, champion. There you go. I need Fortitude level 3. I reckon that's what I should be pushing through for the next one. Yes, it makes buffs last longer, but more important... Ooh, more importantly, goes into machine gun um, And machine guns are good, because I have an AK. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I need, I need iron gun. I need machine gun perks. I think down the road, maybe after the first one, maybe after the second week, I might change over into machine guns. We'll see. Because at the moment, like, clubs and shotties are good, but there's so much more. Hi. You didn't even die from that? I had the stealth... <gasps> the stealth shot and everything? No! <laughs> Come on! It's getting late. There's only 20 minutes left of sunlight, but... I mean, it's still bright enough for me to see, and I'm going to get a bit... Oh, I've already been here too, haven't I? All right. I mean, look, I've got I've got bros here to watch my back. I'm no longer trundling about on my lonesome. So going out at night time, if there's any angry roos, I'll feed them you to the I'll feed you I'll feed you to the drop bears, and I can get away and smother myself in Vegemite so I'm invisible to them like the predator with mud. And that's that, that really is kind of it, isn't it? I think I've done the whole town. I've got all all through there. There's this thing. Those are military encampments. But I think I think we're, I think we're honestly done. I'm I'm stoked at that because I don't remember the last time that I cleared out a whole town. I mean, what? I've already done this one. I don't think I've gone through you yet, nor you. But like, that's it. In fact, you know what, Broads? What are you doing down there, there, champion? We can we gotta get through here. It's about to be night time, so I need you with me. Of course, basically right on command after just talking about how how quickly I get thirsty, I'm now immediately shit. Immediately thirsty. Broads. Heard a spider. Heard a spider. That's not how gates work. 
sick! Rangey dudes, copper, love that! Listen, <laughs> there's a lot of things that are trying to eat me, so having a gate that actually plugs the fucking hole is probably a decent idea if you wouldn't bloody... Wouldn't bloody mind! Broads, you right, bud? Broads! Broads! Spider! I got him! I got him! Oh, no, I got him! Holy shit, he's tough! Oh, Broads, you took a tickle and a half like a goddamn Elmo! Oh, wait. I don't think we're ready for this. I don't think we're ready for nighttime raids, Broads. We're in trouble! I really do need to make that change out of, over to machine guns. This has some points in machine guns. Because, like, the shotguns are great. Like, I love shotguns so much in seven days. But, and it's a pretty big butt, it's a, it's a very big booty and I doubt it lies. Um, you gotta get really close to make the shotguns really effective, especially the dubsy. And getting close to pissed off wildlife isn't really a Australian way to do it. So, um, you know what? As big as that butt is, it is Shakira and it is gonna be a lie. So, wait, no, it's not Shakira, so it will lie to me. So I'm gonna go with machine guns instead, just to have that accurate fire. I think that's the right move. Bonds are made. Got another skill point to spend. Straight into you. Level three. Which means the next one can be you. Yeah, it's, I, I think that's the right move. I just don't have to get close to these pissed off kangaroos and whatnot. That's that's how you get half your leg gobbled. These silos. Oh, all right, bros. These silos are 10,000 HP each. That could be... This could be an interesting place to build a horde base of some kind. I've got ladders here. You got ladders inside each one, but more importantly, I mean, look, I've got Molotovs and I can jump between them and there's nowhere to pass between. And it's super bloody strong at the bottom. So I can sit here and just drop mollies and when one gets a little bit out of your go and jump over to the other one. Cheesy as fuck, but like a good pizza, a little bit of cheese goes a long way. That's a zombie. I'm weirdly not scared of zombies at all in this game anymore. Only ruse. Give a bit of lead. Fucking put it through your thighs as well. Good arm. Go again. Oh, he's not dead. He's not dead, so he's going to be a feral. What about your girlfriend? Oh, I just missed. All right, broads. Come on. We're getting amongst it. Getting into it. How are you? Oh, always missed and the rain started coming down. Now nah, we're all fine, though. I've got a visitor. You want to take care of him, Brody? Ah, oh, no, that's me. Thank God you can't hurt me because you definitely put several rounds directly through my belly button. Didn't want my belly button pierced. I'm not 16 anymore, but thank you for the offer. Put you into them. Park you up out of the rain. Bloody gorgeous, that is. Take all of you. In fact, oh, Brody, can you... Whatever still works the same way, actually. Here, hold on to that for the moment. And then if I pick you up... And then quickly change it back over again. Oh, you got a little icon now! G'day, Brody! There you are. See your inventory? You still got the yucca. Beautiful. So I can use you. Just hold on to all of that, please. Scrap you so that I can quickly run everything upstairs all in one. Grab that. Grab you. And then pick you up. All right. Happy bloody day, Sal. How are you? How are you? Pat, pat, pat. Great to see you again. See, yours is so sad. There's no warmy glow coming out of that, and Sal needs it. I can hear a few sounds out there that I'm not super duper stoked about. I'll grab you. Ooh. And you revert back to the... All right, then. You revert back to your seed form. That's bloody be beautiful for me. Can I get up on here, please? I'll just see what's happening out there. It's dark as the dickens. I can't see a bleeding sausage. I'm going to grab you so it's a bit dimmer in here so I can see out. I reckon... I reckon you're the remnants of a wandering... A wandering horde. I'm very stealthy at the moment. Broat, he knows where we are. I'm going to quickly try and get some fluids into me. Um, You'll do for the moment. I'm going to go a red tea. Got to go a coffee as well. I'm also pretty hungry, so... Bacon and eggs? Absolutely not. Absolutely bloody not. You're coming for Sally, aren't you? Sal, you're fine. Don't you worry your little fluffy head about it. I got you covered. Scomo needs to find someone else to go and piss on because he's already pissing on my parade. You can go straight to my face. Is there another one? Sounds like there is and Broads... Broads is all over it. Brody, you got that covered there, champion? I'm not sure you do. 
That was... <laughs> that was a bloody RKO off the top rope out of nowhere. Get sat. Get sat and then shut on in that order. I'm just going to chuck Brody down so he's guarding Sally. Look at ya. Pat, pat, pat. Great to see you again. Uh, you can go back into there. I need to put the rest of this stuff back away. Because it's now 1am. There's a lot happening out there that I don't really want to have to deal with at the moment. But I'm going to have to deal with soon. Yeah, that's fine, actually. That's fine there. You go there. I'm still desperately low on 762 ammo. So I think... I actually think those those vats out there... I reckon that's a pretty good idea to go and make that my horde base. I can't burn them down. This place looks very flammable and spreadable fire is on. So that might be my best option. But I'm going to have to leave this episode here and then come back to face the day before the horde. We're already into day six. How has it happened? I feel like I just started this series. I've been having too much fun, Charlie Murphy. I've lost track of time. But I'll have to come back and continue to explore the Australian Outback in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you would like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.